Welcome to today's video, where we dive into the fascinating world of programming. Picture a vast landscape of logic and creativity, where ideas become reality through the power of code. That's programming for you. It's a crucial skill in today's digital age, shaping everything from the apps on your phone, to the way businesses operate, to groundbreaking scientific research. In this video, we'll be exploring the very essence of programming. We'll start with a basic definition, then delve into the core concepts that underpin all programming languages. We'll also look at how programming helps solve complex problems and trace its evolution from simple binary code to high-level languages. As we journey through key milestones in the history of programming, we'll see how early languages influenced modern ones and how programming paradigms have developed over time. So, let's start our journey with understanding the basic definition of programming. So, what exactly is programming? Well, programming is essentially the process of creating a set of instructions that computers can understand and execute. You can think of it like a recipe. Just like a recipe tells a chef what ingredients to use and how to use them, programming tells a computer what tasks to perform and how to perform them. In our technology-driven world, programming is the backbone that powers everything from the phone in your hand to the website you're browsing. It's the magic that turns lines of code into vibrant digital experiences, the unseen engine that drives our modern world. Programming is a way for us to communicate with machines, to instruct them to perform complex tasks, process vast amounts of data, and even learn from their experiences. It's an essential skill in our digital age. Now that we understand what programming is, we can delve deeper into its core concepts. To understand programming, we must first grasp its core concepts. At the heart of programming lie four core concepts, variables, loops, conditionals, and functions. Let's start with variables. Think of them as containers that hold information. They keep track of data within a program, like a score in a game or a user's name. Next, we have loops. Loops allow us to repeat certain actions in our code. For example, if you want to print a message 100 times, a loop can do that for you without needing to write the same line of code 100 times. Then come conditionals. They allow us to make decisions in our code. If a certain condition is met, do this. If not, do that. Lastly, there are functions. Functions are reusable pieces of code that perform specific tasks. They help us keep our code clean and avoid repetition. These core concepts are the foundation of programming, enabling us to solve complex problems. Programming is not just about writing code, it's about solving problems. Imagine you're a chef in a bustling kitchen and each dish you need to prepare is a unique problem. Just like how a chef uses a recipe, a programmer uses code to solve these problems. For instance, think about a traffic light system. It's a programmer who designs the code that dictates when the lights should change, ensuring smooth traffic flow and preventing accidents. Similarly, consider online banking. To protect your financial information, programmers create secure systems to prevent unauthorized access. Even in healthcare, programming has a significant role. Algorithms can help predict disease outbreaks or streamline patient care. And let's not forget about entertainment. From the graphics in your favorite video game to the recommendation algorithm on your streaming service, programming is the invisible hand guiding your experience. So programming is not just about stringing together lines of code, it's about crafting solutions to real world problems. With this understanding, let's explore where programming began. Programming has come a long way from its early days. Let's take a brief journey back in time. Initially, programming was all about binary, a series of ones and zeros. This was the language that computers understood directly. However, binary was cumbersome and prone to errors. This led to the development of assembly languages which were a small step up from binary. They introduced human-readable instructions but still required programmers to manage system resources manually. The real game-changer came with the advent of high-level languages. High-level languages like Fortran, COBOL and later on C, Python and Java introduced a more human-friendly syntax. They allowed programmers to express complex ideas and algorithms in a way that was far removed from the nitty-gritty of machine instructions. This abstraction not only made programming more accessible but also allowed developers to focus on solving problems rather than managing system resources. This evolution has led to many milestones in the programming world. The evolution of programming languages has seen some significant milestones. Let's take a walk down memory lane and trace the footsteps of these transformative moments. Our journey begins in the 1950s with the creation of the first high-level language, Fortran. 
Developed by IBM, Fortran was revolutionary as it allowed programmers to write code that was both easier to understand and closer to human language. This was a stark contrast to the binary and assembly languages that dominated the scene at the time. Next we land in the 1960s where we see the birth of Algol. This language set the standard for many that followed, introducing block structures and lexical scope. It's the grandparent of many modern languages, including JavaScript and C. As we move into the 1970s, we can't overlook the advent of C language. C became the foundation for Unix operating system, and its influence is seen in a vast array of languages that followed, including Python, Ruby, and of course C++ and C hash. In the 1980s, the object-oriented programming paradigm took center stage with the rise of languages like C++ and Objective-C. This approach, focusing on objects and data rather than procedures, was a game-changer. It allowed for the creation of reusable code and more complex applications. Fast forward to the 1990s and we see the birth of Java and Python. Java, with its write once, run anywhere philosophy, and Python, with its emphasis on readability and simplicity, have both become staples in today's programming landscape. The 2000s brought us languages like C-Hash and Swift, designed to meet the evolving needs of developers in an increasingly digital age. They've made programming more accessible, efficient, and powerful, setting the stage for the next generation of language evolution. So here we are, standing on the shoulders of these monumental milestones, from the birth of high-level languages to the rise of object-oriented programming, each step has played a crucial role in shaping the programming world we know today. These milestones have shaped the modern programming paradigms we use today. The journey of programming languages is a testament to human innovation and our relentless pursuit to make technology more efficient, accessible, and powerful. Let's see where the next milestone takes us. Modern programming is defined by a variety of paradigms, Let's delve into the development of these interesting paradigms. First up, procedural programming, which came to life in the late 60s. It's all about procedures, also known as routines or subroutines. This approach broke programs down into manageable chunks, making coding more organized and less prone to errors. Next, we have object-oriented programming, or OOP for short. Stepping into the limelight in the mid-70s, OOP is all about objects and classes. This paradigm encourages code reuse and makes it easier to maintain large software projects. Then there's functional programming taking inspiration from mathematics. It hit the scene in the late 50s but only gained popularity in recent decades. Functional programming treats computation as the evaluation of mathematical functions and avoids changing state and mutable data. These paradigms are influenced by early programming languages. Each has its strengths and weaknesses, and understanding them gives us the flexibility to choose the best approach for our coding projects. Early programming languages have had a profound impact on the programming we know today. Let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit the ancestral languages of programming. In the late 1950s, Fortran, the first high-level programming language, arrived on the scene. Designed by IBM for scientific and engineering calculations, it introduced the concept of loops and conditionals. Today, these concepts are integral to almost every programming language. Around the same time, COBOL emerged. Aimed at business data processing, it was the first language to bring English-like syntax into programming, making it more accessible. This influence is clearly seen in modern languages like SQL and Python, which prioritize readability. The influence of these early languages continues to ripple through the world of programming. They laid the groundwork for the diverse array of languages we have today, each with its own strengths, designed to solve specific problems. With this, we conclude our journey into the world of programming. So, we have just scratched the surface of the vast world of programming. We've taken a journey from understanding what programming is, to exploring its core concepts. We've seen how programming plays an integral role in solving problems, and how it has evolved from simple binary to high-level languages, We've traveled through time, looking at key milestones in the evolution of programming languages and how each step has shaped the way we code today. We've delved into modern programming paradigms and discovered how early programming languages continue to influence current ones. But remember, this is just the beginning. The world of programming is vast and constantly changing, offering endless opportunities for learning and growth. So keep exploring, keep coding, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Thank you for joining us and we hope this video has sparked your interest in programming.